Hey everybody, welcome back to Witcher Wednesday. So let's go ahead and unlock ourselves an achievement. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the quests and I think the one that is turn and face the strange is going to allow us to unlock mutations and we are going to unlock the achievement weapon W. So we are going to prioritize this one right now. Then we'll make our way back into the main story and continue on with that. But I, I wanna really quickly go ahead and pop an achievement just right off the bat, get that out of the way so we don't have to worry about it. Maybe play some more Gwent as well. And then we'll continue on with the Beast of Toussaint, the main quest. So is there a um, fast travel marker? I do believe there is. I think we just unlocked one when we got to Corvo Bianco. Yep, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that, do some fast traveling and making our way over there. Here we go. Here we are. And it's just below the Grand Place. The Grand Place? Interesting. But yeah, just below the Grand Place. That's awesome. I'm so glad that we have a few fast travel markers. That isn't where we were before, though, is it? Is this Beauclair? It is Beauclair. Interesting. The map is like, it's got a bit of a weird layout and it's kind of confusing for me in all honesty. I thought we were below Beauclair, but I guess we were, where were we before? Were we up here? We're, we're at the Cor Corvo Bianco Vineyard. Oh, okay. So yeah, I thought this was flipped for whatever reason. I thought this map was flipped, but whatever. That's not important. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and make our way over to this quest. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and complete it. So this should be pretty quick, pretty quick overall. I'd expect I, I I, mean, fingers crossed it is. Hopefully it won't take us too, too long. And then we'll, of course, make our way over to the main quest after a bit of Gwent. And then as we continue on throughout the rest of this DLC, we do have a lot of side activities to get to. I want to take care of the stuff that is directly related to achievements. And then we're going to go ahead and start collecting Witcher diagrams, start farming money to then afford the ma Grand Grandmaster. Yeah, Grandmaster griffin witcher gear so we can craft that and have that equipped and then i do also need to grind money for Cor corvo bianco we need a total of sixty-four thousand, uh, yeah sixty-four thousand crowns for both of those achievements both the grandmaster armor having them all equipped and then upgrading corvo bianco to its fullest so we got a lot of money that we need to have god damn anyways anyways let's see what are we doing over here search for his grave okay right over here right Thomas Moreau, professor. Okay. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in dull name, yeah, but in professor's hours. journals long gone. Glory be to yeah, Ellen. Somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Yeah, who found out about it? Who took it from us? Let's see. Okay. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Yeah, interesting. Where are we headed? Just right back here? Okay. Yeah, what do we have? Just examine the body. All right. Cool, Professor cool, cool. certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Okay, check the location of Nevde on the map Yennefer sent you. So we're headed over to this location. Oh no, she sent us a map? I gotcha. So we go into our inventory and we read it. Okay, quest items. Do we have quest items anywhere? Let's see, let's see, quest items, here we go. Check the map. Here it is. Okay, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Old map of Tucson, oh, is it this one? My bad, it's the letter from Yennefer. It wasn't just a blank map. All right, and so do we have the location now? No, we don't. Do we? Check the location of the, I checked it just now. Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Sonra tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the rain once lay. Okay, interesting. So we're headed to the water. It's location over here. We're gonna go there by Roach, it looks like. The location. Where you at, Roach? Come here. Come here, buddy. We're making our way over to the Valley of the Nine. All right, let's go, buddy. Don't deal with those drowners, please. I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to deal with them. Oh, boy. And we can only canter right now. Hopefully, we're not glitched once we get out of this area. I feel like we should be able to gallop at this point. I don't know what's going on with Roach, buddy. I re I'd really appreciate it if you could gallop. Here we go. So yeah, we could not do that in that section. Go, go. But now we are officially allowed. We have the permission to gallop. Bro, buddy, can you like, please? <laughs> stuck on a fence. It's so annoying. Sometimes Roach's mapping is just very silly. Like that. <laughs> stuck on a fence. Although that is partially my fault, I must admit. But sometimes it's just like, what are you doing? Come on. Belgard Vineyard. All right. That is also related to the Warring Vineyard quest whatever that achievement is related to 
So this area is where we need to complete a lot of tasks for that. Once again, we'll get to that when we get to that. But that is that area. Once we get over there, we'll be completing some stuff for that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, my God. Let's someone's go. screaming. I'm just going to ignore that for now. <laughs> someone's screaming like crazy. My God. All right. Can we please go? Can we please go? Thank you very much. Good job, Roach. All right. And we're headed into these ruins over here. Is that what's up? The ruins of the Valley of the Nine. Oh, my God. Can I not fight, fight a ghoul, please? I'd like to move. Thank you. Holy, what am I hearing? Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Oh my god. I do not want to fight. Oh, damn it, Roach. He got too scared. He got too scared. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. Chill the hell out. God damn. Oh, you know what I should do? I should meditate before we get in there. I definitely need it. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> god damn. And we got an enemy right in front of us. Please. Oh, no. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. It's a bear. It's a bear. Chill the hell out, buddy. Stop chasing me. No way. No, oh my god, there's something over here. Jesus. Holy, holy, oh my god. Okay. Ooh. We're at the moment we're not fighting any enemies. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna meditate. I can't even meditate. Give me a sec. Is everybody leave me alone? Ooh. 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 God damn. We're gonna make it noon once again, and then we're jumping in the water. Oh my god. God damn. I only have five thousand crowns. Wow. Wow. I need to multiply that by ten to afford to afford a Grandmaster Griffin set. Holy. All right. Let's go ahead and get our food in. We're going to constantly heal and let's get it going. Let's make our way down there. We can do this. I believe in us. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's like ruins underwater. I love that. Okay. So we're going to search for the entrance to the laboratory in here. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find it. Probably like in the middle here, right? Can we enter? Ooh, yes, we can. Sweet. Leave me alone. Let me be. I, I, I don't know if I aggro them by shooting, but I, I thought they were going to start attacking me, and I didn't want that. Let's just kill them. Let's just kill them all. Okay. I'm running out of breath. I'm running out of breath. Can we, can we please? All right. You know, I'm just going to stop shooting them. I'm just going to stop shooting them. Let's go. Let's go. There's got to be something here, right? Oh, no. There's not. There's not. Oh, there is. Oh, it's a portal. Go. Go. God damn. Is there water flowing through that portal? That's crazy. There's no water. No, there is water coming through. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. But lucky. I'm lucky I made it. I was running out of breath down there. Goddamn. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Yeah, interesting. Okay, search the ruins. I'm searching. Implanted spikes. Oh, Jesus. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Okay. Damn, there's a skeleton there. Someone got caught. Holy. You gotta be careful here. Jesus. Oh, man, you got to be quick with this one. Probably jump over it. That might be the best call. Or no, just just go through it. Just run through it. Oh, my God. This one's crazy. Yo, yo, yo. Chill, chill, chill. The controls in this game aren't that precise. You really got to, like, go through. But I guess it's fine if you walk up to spikes that are already standing. It's not a big deal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Run. Girls, girls, girls. No. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Ready? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No. Okay. Okay. That was ballsy of me to do. Jesus, I don't know why I did that. Oh, just for some items? My God. All right, ready? And we go. God, that was terrifying. Oh, man, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh, that was that was close. What's that on the wall? <laughs> what is this over here? Just some, okay, copper ore. Sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and collect that. Always need copper, right? Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, what's this area here? Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. What are these? What are these called? Guardians. Okay. Easy peasy. Just guardians. No no stress. We got this. Let's see. Are they are they that bad? I'm not I'm doing enough damage to them. Yeah, yeah. We got this. We're gonna crush it. Let's go. Let's go. What are these? Are these like specters? If they're guardians? Huh. Very interesting, huh? Oh, let's go. My armor. Okay, okay, okay. Chill. Chill the hell out. I need to uh get you guys to back up. Oh my god, they do so much damage if I don't don't have Quen on. My god. Stop! Okay, stop. Just stop. Please stop it. Please stop it. Oh my god. Okay. Woohoo. Oh. I gotta focus on one so I can I can get like just one attacking me only. Jesus. Okay, here, here. Let's go. God damn, god damn. Let's go. Let's go. I'll finish you up. I'll finish you up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Alright, here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's one. And we're gonna we're gonna kill you guys. God damn. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bam. Let's go. Dude, stay back here. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, try running away from me. Try running away. Find a way into the laboratory. Okay. Powdered monster tissue. Blue, blue mutagen. Interesting. They drop stuff. Are they like constructs? I wonder how they got created or how they showed up. Okay. Oh, we have some to drop into down there. Should I? Oh, I see an item. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I did it. Uh oh, is that the right choice? I hope so. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's scary. Oh, man, that, that would not have been a good time for us. Okay, then we just go left to get back the way we came, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. Great. Okay, so worth it. Worth it to check down there. All right, what else we got? What else do we have over this way? Some more copper. Oh, unrefined copper. Wow. All right, I'll go ahead and collect what's in this chest. Ooh, we got some good stuff. I am over encumbered. Not a good time. Not a good time. I definitely should empty my pockets. I'll go ahead and sell it to the blacksmith in Beauclair at some point. He's probably rich, right? Those are probably some loaded blacksmiths. Okay, let's drop the basic items. Hopefully, just dropping these two is good enough for the rest of the quest. Fingers crossed. We shall see. Okay, go. Make our way. To the left, right? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Find a way into Professor Moreau's laboratory. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh, okay. Professor Moreau's diary. Interesting. Let's read that. Let's go ahead and exit out of that because I'm not reading shit. Okay. And we're just going. A boulder. Interesting. Where'd that boulder come from? Yeah, I wonder who found this before us. It's like a mage, clearly. It feels like it's a mage at the very least. All right. Is it just one? I hope it's just one. This one looks bigger. Bigger than the other two. It's, it was the statue. That's what it was. It was the statue. I got you. So basically, it's a construct. How'd the person before us get in without, like, triggering the guardians? I'd like to know that much. Goddamn. Chill out, bro. Chill the hell out. Goddamn. Here we go. And boom. There we go. Guardian is taken down. Easy peasy. Okay, what's up here? What do we got? Nothing? <laughs> Literally nothing? Okay. Cool. And we got it chest oh some barrels some some alcohol don't mind that can we zip line down god damn so we're gonna loot that corpse gold casket on on a skeleton that's crazy okay so do we just jump in the water what are we gonna do here is this a door <laughs> it is a door okay Force locked hmm. notes i found mentioned four protruding stones I'm gonna press them somehow crossbow maybe interesting okay Okay, let's try. Bam. Did I hit them? Oh, those aren't the stones. Those aren't stones that are protruding. I got you. I got you. These are the protruding come stones. On. My bad. What? Why do you say come on? Why do you say that? What's going on, girls? Why are you saying come on? Why? Why? What? I'm so confused. So when I shoot them, they, they pull back before I even hit them. Well, maybe the game just registers it before you even hit them because you released it while the reticle was on top. I don't know. We're just looking for the other four at this point. Or the other two, I mean. Here we go. Like, look, look, look. You see, if I put the reticle on it, it... Okay, maybe that one, I didn't have the reticle on it that time. But like, look at this. Look at this. Okay, it didn't happen on that time either, but I swear the first two times yeah, it did. It, it definitely is. did. All right. Get it going. Oh, what was that? Oh, don't mind if I do gold nugget. Yes, please. What do we got? Oh, boy. What's going on? Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Okay. Look around. Impressive. It's just decoration or find a way to go forward. Oh no! I have a gargoyle. I have seven gargoyles, like oh my god, if I have to fight all of them, that'll just be tragic. Please tell me I don't have to fight them all. God damn. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we shall defeat the one and only gargoyle. And you will not send any more than that. Please do not send any more gargoyles my way. God damn. Alright. Yeah, gonna hang your head from my saddle, gargoyle. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Okay, okay. Relax, relax, relax. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Bam. Yeah, it'll, it'll be killed. It'll be killed. We're good, we're good. Hopefully, none, 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 none of the other gargoyles spawn. And we just got to figure out a puzzle, maybe. I don't even know. This this room looks kind of odd. We got to figure something out, probably. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get taken down. Okay, let's go and loot that guy. What do we have? What do we have? We have a gargoyle paw. Okay. Do we put the paw in here? Interesting. Okay. Did that do it? It lowered. Okay. That's a good sign. Portals. This just keeps getting better. Okay. So I'm going to head into this portal. Do we head up to the higher level? Like the level above? Okay. We do. Interesting. 
So what do we do here? Find a path through the portals. I don't get it. What? Okay. Oh, so now Damn I'm back it. down back here. I started. Okay, this one was the correct one. All okay. Right. Now to find now to find the next portal. Yeah, the next one. Do I just go to the one above it maybe? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what the call is here. Oh, I can't. I can't go to the one above it. Do I have to climb the rocks to get to it? What? Wait, is this the same room? It's not the same room. I didn't even realize. I did not even realize it was the same room. <laughs> I thought I was actually in the exact same room from before. So I, I was planning to go in this one. Let's see if this one works. Okay, where are we at now? All right. now okay, it worked. Portal. But but this worked. That's good. Okay, let's try this one. <laughs> All right, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't know how it's working, but it's working. Now I'm right back. Damn it. Goddamn. I started. Okay, so I, I went into the one that this one was facing, and that was the correct one. And then I went over to this one over here, and that was the correct one. All right. Now to find the yeah. next portal. So you know what I think is up? If you look at where the statue's facing, is that is that the correct thing? Because I headed into this one, and that one is correct. Right. So if I head portal. into the portal that this one is facing, maybe that's going to be correct. That's my hope, at the very least. I'd, I'd like that to be the case. So can we get down there? Yeah, yeah, let's get down there. Let's see what it's facing. So it's facing the one right in front of it, or the one above. It's facing the one above, I think. Yeah, it's got to be that one. So if we head into this one right over here, let's see if this is the solution. Did we make it out? Whoa, it worked. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Wow. What's this? Megascope crystal. Okay. All right. Use your wizard senses to search the laboratory. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Holy. Is Geralt going to do that to himself? Is he going to step in? Oh my god. Alright, I'll collect that. I'll collect that for sure. Collect this stuff for sure. Let's go. What else we got? Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Okay. Oh, we got an exit over there. We'll take that in a few seconds. Check that out. Megascope crystal. Okay. And something else over here. What's over here? What, what's this icon for? Huh? Okay. Oh, Megascope Crystal. Oh, we got to use Ard, right? Bam. Should I go in there? No, that's probably the exit. I don't want to do that Reserved right now. Reserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Okay, and... Is there anything else? We'll check up here real quick. Oh, we got a lot. Oh my god, there's so much crap to collect. Damn, dude. Okay. And then let's go... Oh, I didn't check that stuff out. We'll do that in two seconds. Go and just grab all of that. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Just what do we got? Need to pick an entry. Oh. Second. I don't know. This is like playback. This is like an audio log or like a like a diary, recorded diary. Interesting. Observation twenty-two. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Interesting, huh? Interesting. First entry. Okay. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, oh. to myself and my son. When oh. 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Wow. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so and perished rather than surrender to the witchers, my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. 
That's interesting. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's so, interesting. The professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Yeah. Third entry. Damn, we got five of these. They're lengthy. They're lengthy, that is for sure. <laughs> I didn't realize we had to sit through five of them. No offense, but I kind of want to get Observation going. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Whoa, okay. All right. Fourth entry. Yeah, show me. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting for sure. You know, he's trying to cure his son. Failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Sheesh, oh my god. Okay. I mean... Yeah, I wonder what's up. So, was that a witcher? Was that a human that he turned into a witcher? I don't know what, what like, that person in the vat is. It's curious, huh? Let's see. This fifth and final entry. And let's get a mu mutation. I would love to get one. I think that'd be pretty cool. I wonder what we can unlock. What does it enhance, you know? Years of experiments. Research. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. Huh. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength. Rendered him yet more inhuman. Wow. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. Interesting. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. So in, in the act of him trying to cure his son, he enhanced him? The professor him. wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Yeah, let's summarize. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumins of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. I do? Oh my god. Acquire mu mutated giant centipede albumen. Okay, and it looks like we have a way to get it right over here, sir. Sure. sure, that's what we're going to go ahead and collect. Oh, but it's going to be so gross. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be so gross if we're... Oh, we're facing a centipede. Oh, no, no, no. All right, let's go. Let's go for it. Uh, Jesus. Mom's awake and she's not in the good mood. Oops, I didn't mean to use Igni. I meant to use Quen. But I already had it assigned, so it's not like it mattered. God damn, look at this thing. 
Holy. How are we going to fight it? How the hell are we going to fight it? It's a pale widow. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Bam. Ooh, okay, we do damage. We do damage with a bomb. That's nice to see. That's great. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got Dragon Stream. Let's try that out. Bam. Okay, does some stuff. Don't mind that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did a little bit extra there, too. Where you at? Where you at? Here we go. Bam. Oh, my God. 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 Chill. Jesus, this is an annoying enemy. This is so annoying. I don't like how it dives into the ground. It, it makes it the worst fight ever. Seriously. Like, you're kidding me. Oh, dude. Stop. Probably does like three. Yeah, it goes up three times, tries to attack you, and then it stands up over here. Let's you attack it for a little bit. Okay. Oh, my God. Not cool. Are you going to come up? Come on. Do your worst. Let's go. And bam. Oh, my God. It does so much damage. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. There's another one? Did it say another one? Did he just say there's another one in here? So there's two freaking centipedes? You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. I'm not trying to fight more. Oh, my God. Let me kill this weak one at the very least. Oh, Jesus, dude. Wow. Wow. I think they both hit me there. This is this is stupid. <laughs> this is not cool. Okay, here we go. Dude. Dude. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't want to fight anymore. Stop. Stop this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's fry this one up while we have the chance. It's hardened. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, dude. All right. So, it, like, hardens and then it, it has an area of effect attack after it hardens. My God. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, stop that. Here we go. This thing is going to pop up over here. Let's go. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. All right, let's go. Let's move. Let's move. Where are you going to pop up, huh? Right over here, right on top of me. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. I got you. Don't, don't worry. Stay there. Or not. Whatever. Okay. Someone's going to come right over here. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Bam. Come on. Let me, let me take you down, please. Holy. All right, here we go. Here we go. And... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, dude. Woo. 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 Okay. What are these noises? I'm hearing so many noises right now. But I got this one right in front of me. Oh, man, it moved. But I got this one right in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and attack it. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Let's go. Oh, my God. Dude, I can't get a single hit on, on these guys. They're so annoying. I can't believe they make us face two of these guys. It's stupid. It, these stupid ass centipedes are awful. They are awful. Oh my god, where'd they go? They just keep moving. It's like whack-a-mole. God damn. All right, here. Bam. Bam. Let's go. Oh my god. All right, here, here, here. Let's go. I'm healing. Chill the hell out, dude. Okay, let's move. Ooh. Okay, or not. God damn it. <laughs> Stop moving. Just let me attack you. Th this is it. I'm killing this one right here. Oh, or I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I was wrong. God damn it. Killing someone soon. I'll tell you that much. Oof. Or what the hell, dude? Stop. Oh, my God. All right, here. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, stop. All right, this one right here. I got to hit this one, right? Oh, my Jesus. All right, come on. They're both so weak now. It's like it's got to happen at any point. Okay, why are you attacking this one? It was miles away. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Here we are. Bam. Oh, wow. One's dead. This is a big moment. One's dead. It's disgusting. That's so disgusting. Oh, it's not as bad as the spiders. I got to be honest, but Jesus, that's disgusting to see it die. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Come on, pale widow. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> I, 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 I can't say any words. I can say, oh, my, and Jesus, and goddamn. I can say that for sure, but I can't say any constructive words when I'm getting attacked like that. All right, where you at? Where you at? I know you're popping up. Here we go. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> what, what was that damage? What was that damage? That's ridiculous. It popped up on me like that. Ugh. I hate these enemies. Okay, there we go. Did I get the eggs? Did I, did I take the eggs? I hope so. Acquire mutated giant centipede albumin. Did I do that? Did I not do that? Oh, no. Did I not do that? Am I going the right way? Wait. Do I have to go into my inventory? Did I not collect that? Do I go into alchemy, maybe? Maybe that's what's up. Quest items. Let's see. Quests. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. I can upgrade some oils. Might as well get that. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Enhanced necrophage oil. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, let's enhance our hangman's venom, too, while we're at it. Why the hell not? <laughs> well, I can upgrade even more oil. Let's see what else I can upgrade. Oh, hangman's venom superior. Well, wow, let's go. Don't mind if I do. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, I can upgrade some bombs. Oh, the meridian bomb. Oh, don't mind if I do. Anything else? Dancing star. Let's go superior. You love it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now that's done. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to what I was doing. Are they in here? No, they're not. So I killed the two of them, but they didn't give me the proper items that I needed. Do I have to go deeper? 
Is that what's up? No, no, this is where I came from. So do I have to go deeper into this area here? If I'm doing that, let me meditate at the very least so I can at least like get my potions and crap back. They were not a fun fight. I gotta be honest. They were they were like the worst fight ever. Okay, their bodies are still there. That's good. That means I don't have to they didn't like respawn because I meditated. So that's nice. Let's see. Can we collect their eggs? Oh my god, we have another one to face. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is actually the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> I don't like I don't like this quest right now. I'm kind of pissed. God damn it, dude. Okay, here we go. Come on. At least it's just one for the moment. So it's not like I'm like being completely whooped, bouncing around the place. Oh, I see some eggs. There we go. We just have to finish this one off and we can collect the eggs. That's great. But goddamn, this is this is something else. Oh, and here's an exit. What I think is the exit. So we'll, we'll get out of here pretty soon, thankfully. All right, let's go. Bam. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? All right, let's go. Dude, you are you serious? Oh my God. The moment I, I swipe, it goes back down. So annoying. All right, let's go. It's on fire too. We love that. We love that. Yeah, here we go. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you're on fire again. Take that. Okay, here we go. Bam. It's going to die. I'm so glad it's just one at a time right now. I can actually handle one at a time. I can't handle more than that. It's just ridiculous. All right, here we go. Ow. Okay, apparently I can't handle just one. Goddamn. Where you, where are you at? Come on, hit me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Okay. Where to go? All right. We're going for you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Goddamn. Goddamn. Oh. Holy God. All right. Just a few more. Just a few more. And we're done with the final centipede. The disgusting ass centipede. I would love it if I could just kill this thing and move on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Let me hit you. Dude, not cool. Not cool. You have to let me hit you first. Jesus. All right. Here we go. And come on. Let's go. Dude. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Come on. Let's go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. One more. One more. Oh, it's dead. Beautiful. We love it. We love it. We love it. I'm collecting all of them. Goddamn asshole. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed with these things. But I'm so glad we killed them. Goddamn. Can I open anything over here to exit? Is there something for me to open? No, it doesn't look like... Oh, no, no. There is, there is. We're going to go ahead and hit R. Bam, there we go. Oh, and that just brings us right over here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? All right, I'll take that. And then let's go ahead and do what? We have to place it inside this thing? Where do we place it? In the vat? Oh, huh? guessing this man. No, where do we place it? In me. the contraption and start the machinery. Oh, so I was on the opposite side. My bad. All right, let's place it. Oh, Jesus. Get undressed and activate Moreau's contraption. That's crazy. Geralt wants to get in there. Point going in oh, my God. I have to take it off myself. That's silly. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's take it off. Bam. Bam. See you all later. I'll keep wearing the swords. Gotta no biggie. My armor. Leave my weapons. Oh, my God. I have to drop it. So annoying. Stop. Okay, let's go ahead and drop all of the weapons. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. I dropped them all. Now, can I please go in? Can I please get this mutagen? That would be great. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Yeah. Let's go, Geralt. Let's see what you got. He's pretty short for a witcher. <laughs> if his son was that tall, that's a tall-ass witcher. Look at Geralt. He's kind of short. Okay, here we are. And doing this should unlock us our achievement. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. He's looking messed up. God damn. Oh, he's stronger for it. Look at that. There you go. Mutations. We have unlocked the mutation system. Perfect. Turn and face the strange. Now let's go ahead and re-equip all of our items. That would be great if we could do that. Yep. Thank you very much. We're going to put every single one of the Griffin armor on. And blah, 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 blah. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and put our crossbow back on. Thank you very much. Okay, now I think we go to character. There we go. Yeah, our mutagen is now available. So press Y to open the mutations panel. I, I should have said mutation, not mutagen. My bad. And we just strengthen stuff. That's cool. That's cool. So what do we need to do? Yeah, what, what is it that we need to do? We just go over to this. Oh, and we use ability points. That's cool. So if you filled out the character screen, and the, the character tree and the skill tree, you can then enhance your ability points with mutagens and, and unlock mutations. Choose one of the advanced mutations. Okay, here we go. To develop advanced mutations, you, you must first develop other more basic ones. 
Information about this can be found in the mutations description. That's cool. Okay. And I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I, I, I don't have any of the greater red, blue, or green mutagen. So that's not fun. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to the mutations. Maybe if I go to alchemy, I can make these. Greater bu blue mut mutagen. Beautiful. Let's go. And then can I make a greater green? Not at all. But I have one greater blue mutagen. So that means I have a total of two now. Let's go. Let's go and craft it right over here. I think we can make it. Here we go. We can research this mutation. We are upgrading. What sign are we upgrading? Just all signs? That's cool. That's cool. All right. Research mutation. Yes, please. There you have it. We now have our first mutation assigned. We also have strengthened synapses. We have, okay. The strengthened synapses mutation improves. Oh, there we go. There is weapon W. Like I said, we have developed a mutation. That is what we are here for. We have unlocked that achievement. That's very nice. I'm very glad that we have that out of our way. Okay. As it does, it unlocks additional ability slots. Oh, really? Oh, like ability slots in terms of the the mutation slot or like ability slots in terms of character abilities. Cool stuff. Yeah, look at that. It unlocks additional ability slots. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, strength and synapses. That's so cool. So as we build out our mutations, we can then acquire even more. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so basically. Yeah, so basically if I research two more mutations, we then have another opportunity for us to have more skills assigned. That's actually great. That's actually so awesome. I'm so glad that's the thing. All right. Anyways, now that that's done, let's move on. That's that's great. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that we found all of this out. All right. That is now completed. I think at this point we are going to play just a little bit of Gwent. Not too much. Just a little bit. And then we shall move on to the main quest. This quest did take quite some time. That guy talked for quite a long time. He was talking a lot. He was talking a lot. So um, we had to let him do that. It took probably like 15 minutes of just talking. Maybe 10, maybe closer to 10 minutes of him just talking. But I'm glad we have that done. We now have mutations unlocked and we can work towards that as we play along. If we even have the opportunity to do that. I don't know if we would. Okay, let's go ahead and start playing some Gwent. We are probably going to head over to Beauclair because there is a huge and they're like a freaking a huge concentration of Gwent players over there. So we're definitely going to head that way. Or we could head over there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just head to the closest Gwent player at the very least. So let's see. Let's check the map out once we get up top. Here we go. Let's check it out. World map. Okay. So yeah, the closest ones are actually below us. Okay, so let's just head straight over here. Straight over to the ones that are in front of us. We'll probably get a fast travel marker once we do arrive there as well. Oh my god, Roach. Why did you have to go up there? Why did you have to go up there, please? Please, dude. Don't do this to me. Come on, Roach. Get over here. Get over here, dude. Get closer. You're killing me. You're killing me. Come on. You're getting attacked. You're getting attacked right now. I do not need this, Roach. Did Roach just die? I think Roach might have just died. That's crazy. Holy. I've never seen an enemy aggro. Like, be aggro on Roach. Damn, dude. Whatever. Whatever. At least we're back on Roach. We're, we're getting the hell out of here. I do not need to be fighting any more enemies. God damn. These new enemies in Tucson are kind of scary. Kind of scary. We've been running into some, some that strike fear in me. Not gonna lie. Ooh, centipedes for sure are just awful. I, I'm so glad we, we're not fighting them right now. Oh, terrible enemy. <laughs> okay, let's go and collect everything on this notice board. Just get that all collected. Yes, please. And then let's make our way over to our very first Gwent player for the video. We're going to go ahead and tackle, I think, three total Gwent matches. Just get them done. Welcome and then we are going to continue on. What land do you hail from? <sighs> Been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Yep. Ah, is it true what they say about the war, death, destruction all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking about thy family in Edom, see? So I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Okay. Round of Gwent, what would you say? Yeah, Max Bet, let's go all the way. All the way up there. You play much Gwent? Up for a quick match, maybe? Yeah. Let's go! Here is our second Toussaint battle. We are just going to go ahead and start up our game. 
I dislike that they changed the Gwent music, but I'm glad it's, it's like refreshing to have different music in while we play Gwent, that's for sure. But uh, the Gwent music is so classic. It, it's rough saying goodbye to it, if you ask me. But hey, you know what? I'm sure this one will grow on us, right? Okay, time to plop down some spies. It is my turn. Avalok, do your worst, buddy. Do your worst for us. Okay. And then we're going to place down Taller once we get our chance. Yeah, do your worst. Do your worst, enemy. Do your worst, innkeeper, bartender, whoever the hell you are. I do not care. I'm going to kill you. And then we have a decoy. So if they place down a spy, we're pretty solid. Yeah, they're going to place down Taller. So we have nothing to really worry about. Go ahead and place down Vest. Get that out of the way. I should take him out of my deck, in all honesty. Like, he doesn't have any abilities as a card himself. So I might remove him from the deck. Or I might keep only him. Hmm. Because <laughs> I I'm, I feel bad. He died. I don't want to get rid of him. Uh, that would make me feel bad. So I might keep him. But some of the other uh, cards are in the deck that aren't hero cards that have a, that uh, don't have abilities, I could probably get rid of them. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. What shall we do? What shall we do? Should I nullify? I think I will. I'll nullify the middle row. Go ahead and make them pretty weak. And we'll see what they do. Okay, you're going to power up the back row. I gotcha. I gotcha. See what you're doing. See what you're playing at. I'm going to put down Triss, our hero card. What else you got? Huh? What else you got? You going to place down Taller or what? Just holding on to Taller like that? What a tease, huh? Come on, dude. Plop him down, please. Just do it for me, please. Okay, we're winning. We're winning pretty substantially so far, so I have no concern. Well, not substantially. Just by four points. But still, we're winning. So I think we're going to crush this. We can go ahead and place down a blue stripes commando. I'm willing to sacrifice just one. I don't see any issue with that. Yay, Taller. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick that bad boy back up. And we're going to go ahead and place him right back down. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Once we place down Taller, who are we going to be collecting? All right. Good use. Good use of commander's horn. But I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and place down Taller. There we go. And let's see. Okay. All right, not a good pull, I guess, but not a terrible pull, at the very least. Okay, so what shall I do? I don't know what the best call here might be. <laughs> oh, Crinford Reefs. I didn't realize I got a second one. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and pass. We have won the first round. I didn't realize I had a second Crinford Reefs. That's what I got from from the, uh, the from Spy, from Taller. And now I have Dijkstra, so we're going to go ahead and place down Dijkstra. Take advantage of that. Are we going to get another Spy? No, no, but we do have a decoy. They if they decide to place taller themselves. Yeah, there we go. Just like I thought, I'm going to go ahead and do the same. <laughs> I'm going to place taller right back down. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and place down taller. Bam. There you have it. And okay. All right. I'm stacked. I'm not losing. Let's be honest. They have four cards. There's no way in hell I am losing this. Okay. 10 points. Easy peasy. I'll crush that. I have nothing to worry about. That is for sure. Let's go. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Blue Stripes Commando. Oh, no, no. Let's, let's do Crinford Reeves because I have Yennefer Vengenberg as well. So I'm going to be able to pull in Crinford Reeves. There you go. There you have it. Uh, I'm going to let them just do their thing. Honestly, whatever. Just go ahead and pull in whatever cards you want. Yeah, I got no stress. I got no stress about that. We're going to win this for sure. Even if we have to pass this round because they, they have a lot of points. I have so many cards overall. They're not going to crush me at all. Okay. All right. Who are you placing down? Who are you placing down now, Buster? Five-point card. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to place down Geralt. Let's go. Three more cards. What you going to do? What you going to do? Okay. Tibor Egebrock. Okay. Do your worst. I'm going to go and place down, I think, one blue stripes. Just get that taken care of. And then, hmm. I don't know. After that, I do not know what the call is. I don't want to use the commander's horn just yet. Yeah, I don't want to use it just yet. I might use it in the middle row if I need it. But I don't think I'll need it. I honestly think I'm about to win. Oh, oh, okay. They pulled that out on us. Okay, I see you. All right, all right. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got from that pull. Okay, all right. They risked it. They gave us the points. Ooh. Yeah, they even got rid of their 10-point cards. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't waste my Commander's Horn on that row because, you know, they would have been the most powerful at 20 points each. So they would have definitely gotten scorched. So 
I definitely made the right call holding off on Commander's Horn. Okay. And we, and we win. Yeah, we win. Sorry to say it to you, but we win. Yeah. There you go. That's our first victory of the video. Let's go. Let's go. We are going to go ahead and pass. And that is another Gwent victory. There you have it. Let's close and let's keep it going. Let's head to our next destination. Yeah, here we go. And I should also make our way over to Beauclair. So that way we can sell some stuff. Yeah, after this. I think I'm just going to clear out this area right over here. And we're going to continue on. I don't want to do three matches right now. I just want to, like, you know, get going after this one. Hey, what's that? Oh, you, you tired? You tired? Huh? That's nice. These people are, like, pleasant to talk to, if you ask me. So I'm kind of happy to be Went. in this area. Interested in a round or two? Like, people in Skelga, they were also pretty nice and pretty chipper. People in Velen and Novigrad, they suck. They suck. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I do want to get rid of somebody that isn't exactly useful. So we're probably getting rid of the Trebuchet and the Ballista. As nice as they are, they kind of just take up space. And, you know, they take up the pool of cards that we can pull from. And I want something more useful, if you ask me. I'm pretty happy with the changes I've made. Let's go. Let's get it going. We're going to crush it. We're going to crush it. They have a Northern Realms deck, and so do we. I have two spies. Ooh, we have a Scorch Dragon. Okay. And, hmm. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hold it. We're going to hold what we got so far. Yeah. And I have a feeling our spy cards are definitely going to come in handy. Scorch Dragon definitely is going to be useful. Let's just get to it. Let's just get to it, guys. What is the number for the Scorch Dragon again? Is it 10? Yeah, it's 10. So if the front if the front row is 10 or more points, we can destroy the highest card. And it currently is. Great. You love it. All right. I'm going to place down all the spies I got. Nice. Go Tyler. Go Tyler. Then we're going to place down uh, whoever this dude is. Prince Dennis. Yeah. Let's go. We also have decoys available to us, so we can take advantage of that. We have three decoys, dude. God damn, we have a lot right now. Okay, they double the strength of their siege units. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm going to go ahead and burn up that front row. Hopefully, they use a medic to bring back Prince Dennis. And then I can go ahead and use the decoy to pick up Prince Dennis. Yeah, there we go. Called it. Called it. Okay, then let's pick him up and let's place him right back down. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep it going. Get as many cards as possible right out of the gate. Commander's horn. Okay, interesting. Are they gonna power up every single row? My god. What are they doing? That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty good. We have uh, used up all our spy cards for the time being, so everything that all the spies that we have available to us are on the table. So hopefully they are gonna send some our way at some point, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did not. Okay. Oh, I can also use... Ooh, ooh, there's an option. There's an option. I can use Decoy to get the Scorch Dragon back, actually, which I'm going to do right now. And then we're just going to place him right back down. Hopefully destroy Prince Dennis once again, which will hopefully prompt them. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Let's see what happens. So their top row has 24. And if I reduce that with the... Yeah, let's see how low it gets now. 42. And then if I do this, yeah, I think I'll win if I do this. Yeah, they get I get rid of that from their deck. And I only need 10 more points. I can use Geralt of Rivia. I can use Geralt of Rivia. I think I will. Yeah, Geralt of Rivia to then bring it up to a total of whatever that number is. 37. There you go. There you have it. And we have passed the first round. We have more cards than them. We're feeling pretty confident. We got this. I also have one decoy. So even if they use a medic to bring back a, a spy, I'm pretty solid. I'm going to use a lot of hero cards right now. That is for sure. Let's just plop them down. Let's just keep going. Let's keep doing it. Okay, Geralt of Rivia. No stress. I'm going to bring in Roach, right? Or no, they already used their Roach. So we're good. Who does who does Geralt bring back if the opponent uses him? I'm not actually sure. Can I see? Oh, come on, come on. Here we go. Yeah, Roach. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's go. Come on. Do your worst. Do your worst. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to cross him. We're going to cross him. This is great. This is great. This is going smoothly. Well, so far, at the very least. I don't, I don't know about super smooth. It's going smoothly enough. If they use a Scorch, I think they'll be rid of my Catapult. Yep, there you go. I figured they would. It's pretty typical for the NPCs to do. Okay, here we go. Who's in my discard pile? Who can I bring back? Vesemir's in my discard pile. Oh, yeah, I didn't get rid of him. He's the only one I didn't get rid of. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, 
he's in my main card deck now? Oh, so, oh, I have Villain Tremeth in my discard pile. Gotcha, okay. I was confused. I didn't realize I focused on my hand rather than the, uh, yeah, rather than the discard pile. Okay, Impenetrable Fog, no worries. It's just a normal card. Not a big deal. Our opponent has passed. We're just going to go ahead and pass ourselves because we have won our second game for the video. It's going well. It's going well. That's our third game in Toussaint. We got around 16 more to go. God damn. That's a lot of Gwent. That's a lot of Gwent. But not as much as the main story. Let's be honest. Not as much as, uh, you know, Novigrad and Velen. All right. Now that that is done, I did not want to talk to you, so I'm going to go ahead and say farewell. So long. And we are going to be making our way over to Beauclair, and we're going to head over to the blacksmith over there. We're going to sell our stuff. So yeah, Beauclair over here, and we're going to make it over to the blacksmith. We're going to sell our things, and then we're going to continue on with the main quest, Beast of Toussaint. So let's just make our way over there. Let's use the fast travel marker, get to Beauclair real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Where is the fast travel marker? I swear it would have been right here. Does this area not have a fast travel marker? No way. No way. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Kind of far. Goddamn. So go right. Go that way. That's where it should be. Should be up at the top of the hill. Huh. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm trusting you. Up there, maybe. Weird. Whatever. Whatever. I'm just headed to it. We're just trying to get onto the main story. So if we can just find this marker. My God. Where, where, where did I go? Did I go the complete wrong way to get to this fast travel marker? <laughs> oh, I did. I did. I did. But not that far away. Not that far away, at least. I just didn't want to use a different marker. You know, I didn't want to place down a custom marker because then I, I can't follow the custom marker later to go to the blacksmith unless I, you know, replace the marker. You get what I mean? I'm lazy. That's why I'm doing this right now. That's why I ended up wasting time because I'm lazy. What can I say? It's, 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 it's on me. It's on me. Okay. So let's go ahead and fast travel real quick. I think this is probably the closest one. The grand place. We're going to make our way over there. And then sell our stuff and continue on. Hopefully during uh, this upcoming quest. Well, not upcoming, but this upcoming section of the Beast of Toussaint. We are going to be facing a specific enemy. Because then we have an opportunity to work towards the five virtues achievement. Whatever that achievement is called. We are hopefully going to be able to do that. But we'll see. I don't know how long it takes until we get to that point. Is this... Where's the blacksmith at? Is the blacksmith on this floor? Where do we go? Do we go into here? No? Do we go below? It says it's above? Wait, what? What's happening? It's above us? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Okay, let's just go this way. Is this how we enter? What's going on? Oh my god. Okay, am I in the right spot? <laughs> am I in the right spot? I think I am. Trenton. The best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Show me your wares. Show me what you have. All right, sweet. There you go. There you go. I can finally sell some stuff, empty out our inventory. So we started with around 5,600, and we're getting a good amount. We're getting a good amount of things. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. They are definitely rich in Beauclair and Toussaint. The merchant does not have enough coin. I guess they're not that rich, huh? Damn. Sorry about it, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and leave, and... Farewell. I'm gonna go on to the next guy. Oh, see you later. I'm gonna go on to the next one. The armorer, or is that what? What is that symbol? Is that like a a table that I can repair or power up my stuff at? Is that what's up there? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Use, yeah. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Here we go, armor. The best armor around. That is what I forged. I believe you. <laughs> yelling. The guy was yelling. He also is a Gwent player, but we are not going to be doing that right now. I'm just not up for that. So let's go ahead and see what we can grab over here. Nothing. I'm going to go and repair my stuff while I'm here, though. Repair equip. That costs a little bit of money, but it's good to repair everything that is equipped. And then let's go ahead and sell everything. I have seven grand. Let's see what we come out of this with. Sensor. Yeah, go ahead and sell that. I'll sell everything from the Hearts of Stone. Don't mind doing that. And let's also sell this Chance of Poison. We'll sell one of these. Yeah, for sure, one of them. Okay, and is there anything for us to sell over here? Die remover. That. Restore armor to its original color. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and sell all of that. There you have it. I'm going to sell one of these. There we go. And I'm now at 75, 74. I only got like 500 bucks. Whatever. 600, technically, but whatever, dude. Okay. So is there any junk that I can sell? I don't know. Whatever. We're out of here. We're out of here. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm not going to look too much anymore. We're going to go ahead and make our way over to the Beast of Toussaint. 
Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to play Gwen. I didn't want to play Gwen. I don't want to play Gwen. I, I press up by accident. I press up by accident, but now we've started up the game. So I, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm kind of annoyed that I did that, but we started up the game. So let's just go ahead and set, set the bed amount. Let's get this done. I can't believe I'm Up doing this. Round of Gwent. I can't believe it. I I didn't mean to. I meant to say goodbye. I meant to say farewell, but now I'm playing Gwent. God damn it, dude. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I accidentally started this game with Gwent, but you know what? We're going to finish it. We're going to try and finish it like that. We're going to try and finish it quick. Although it's not a quick game to play. We're going to try our best. Okay. So we have some spies. We have the Scorch Dragon. We are feeling pretty good. We're going. We're going. I'm not even looking too hard at it. We got this. I didn't want to play a third game this video. I I literally wanted to continue on and not be stuck in this, but it looks like this is what we're doing now. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's so silly. All right, let's do it. Spy time. Here we go. We're, we're just going to keep it running. We're going to keep it going. Not even hesitate. Spy is up next. Let's go. They passed. What? Why have they passed? Okay. That's surprising. Sure. What do you want to do, dude? Yeah, keep it going. I'll just place down. Yeah, I'll, pl I'll place down Vesemir. Easy peasy. And that is our first round. We have won that. I wonder what they're thinking. I wonder what they're thinking. Are they going to use a medic to call them back or something? Yeah. What is this NPC trying to do to us? Like, okay, dude. Sure. Do whatever you want to do. Lose the first round immediately. Okay, Dandelion. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to Scorch and potentially use, use Scorch after I use Winter's Bite. That might be nice. We'll see. We'll definitely see, though. Here you have it. Bam. Go, Triss. Do your thing. Okay. I think Blue Shep's Commando might be up next. Okay. No. You know what? Just screw it. Just screw it. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah. Might as well just... Just attack him like crazy, right? If you ask me, I think that's what I should do. Okay, come on. Let's go. And plop down all of the hero cards. At this rate, I'm plopping them all down, except for Yen. I'm going to hold on to her for the moment. Okay, catapult. I see you. I see you. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. John Natalis. And then we're going to place our own catapult. All right. We have one, too. Ballista. All right. Sure, dude. Just keep it up. I'm still confused on why the NPC passed the first round. Didn't really do much. And it doesn't, it doesn't have like a powerhouse this round. So it's not like it was super effective, if you ask me. I wonder what it's thinking. <laughs> I wonder what the, what the NPC is thinking. All right, there we have it. If they decide to power up that back row, I'm definitely using Scorch. Oh my god, my voice is hoarse. My voice is definitely hoarse. I've been, uh, Gwent is intense, what can I say? <laughs> my voice is damaged. All right, Crinfid Reeves. I can destroy all 10 point cards, which I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Why the hell not? Bam. Yeah, you love it. You love to see it. The enemy lost. Easy peasy, right? There you have it. I don't even need to play anymore. We're just going to go ahead and pass our second round. I'm just glad that was a quick one. I'm glad that was a quick one. It was an accidental game. I didn't mean to start it, but I started it by accident. Might as well finish it on purpose, right? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make our way over to the Beast of Toussaint. Really sorry, guys. Did not mean to get sidetracked by that. Seriously, that was like, I'm annoyed that happened. But hey, you know what? At least that means we now have one more Gwen game done, which means one more Gwen game less in the future. So we can look at that, look at it from that perspective as well. It makes it easier for us. You know, we're helping ourselves out. Okay. Now, where are we headed? Okay. Oh, uh, let's go to the, the vineyard since it's close enough. And we're going to make it over to, is it the, where are we even headed? Find Palmerin and ask him to take you to the Duchess. Is he, oh, Palmerin is, so there was, there's Mar Martin? No, Marlin? What was, what was the other guy's name? There were two of them. Palmerin is the one That's that was approach. with. That wasn't with us. So, basically, the guy who was doing the investigating by the shore, that guy was Martin Marlin. I don't know what his name Come was. On, I don't remember that guy's name. But Palmerin is the one that left before we had gotten there. Yeah, he had left once we made it to Tucson. I should be following the, the GPS, it, but Roach. I am not. Here, now I am. Okay, great. We made it. Here we are. Okay. It's Coliseum type deal. Goddamn. What's going on over here? Oh my God. Okay. Go, go. All right, let's see what we got. What's going on, Palmerin? What you doing? Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Palmerin, what about the story of Ritik and the dragon? 
The tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Yeah. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Oh yeah, virtue always triumphs. <sighs> yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The Cutter of Casteldaccia too. Moral victory, that's what counts. <laughs> Rubbish. That's funny. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Damn, it's raining. It's kind of cinematic. Kind of, kind of dope. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Hey. Lead the way. Okay. All right. So during this quest, I do believe that there is a fight we need to get into, and we need to make a specific choice. I'll tell you about that when we get to it. But not quite, as you will soon see. Ooh, damn! Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar with only some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Goddamn. Old thing's dangerous. Shouldn't torture it like that. Yeah, shouldn't torture it. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? Good question. A monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. Good point. Good point, Geralt. No knight will gain any glory from this. Let's go see the Duchess. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's exciting. It's still soaking in to me that we've started Blood and Wine. It's crazy. Crazy. Seeing these, like, new things like this, it's so badass, you know? Oh, and the start of it with, with Goliath. Oh, it was so cinematic. It was so cool. Oh, I'm so excited for what's to come. For real. Oh damn! I don't think this this. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Ooh, I don't think this was meant to be in the rain, but it's so cool having everything be in the rain. It looks so badass to watch. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Damn, yeah, chasing after its tail. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh! Oh, it's losing its bells, huh? It's a real threat right now, huh? We have to help him. Damn. Let's go, Palmerin. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, wow. Now it's sun. Yeah, look at that. I, I figured it wasn't supposed to be raining. Oh, I wish it stayed raining. It was so cool. It was so cool to see it all. All right, basically what we need to do is after this fight, we will have a choice to spare the Shalmar. We need to spare it. We need to spare it for the five virtues achievement. So as long as we do that, we shall unlock the achievement. All right, how do I defeat this thing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's actually going to kill me. It's actually going to kill me. What is the way that I should defeat it? Maybe Ard? Ard will knock it on its ass or something. I don't know. Ow! Ow! Stop! Stop, dude. Are you kidding me? What is this? Okay, relax. Please relax. I'm trying my best. Jesus, dude. Okay, it did get damaged somehow. How did it get damaged? What's happening here? Is it my, maybe my Quen? My Quen shield burst? Maybe that damaged it? I want to try knocking it over. That must be what you got to do, right? No, that didn't work. Huh. How do I damage it? Maybe Igni? Oh, let's try Let's try Axie. Maybe... Oh! 
Oh, that's how you damage it once it rolls over like that. Interesting. I gotcha. Let's try Axie. Does that do anything? I think it stunned it. I'm not actually sure. Oh, oh, oh. Can't do anything now. All right, let's try out Igni. Yeah, let's try out Igni. Something's got to do something. It's not like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Igni works wonders. Let's go. Let's go. That's great. That's great. I'm glad. Oh, but this guy's getting damaged. Oh, Palmerin, Palmerin, you gotta, you gotta stay away, bro. I can only do so much to protect you. My God. All right, let's go. Let's do Dragon's Dream. Here we go. Oh my God. And let's try out the. Where is it? Where is it? Dancing Star. Let's go. Oh my God. Please tell me he doesn't get damaged by my bomb. All right, I don't think he did. But I don't think I even damaged the Shalmar. Now that I look at it. God damn. All right, let's go. Let's light it on fire, bro. Do your worst. Oh, it's got a pretty good defense when it goes like that. Okay. Here. Oh. Ouch, not cool. Ouch, not cool. No, my God. It's just endlessly. It was endlessly rolling. Bullshit. So annoying, dude. Oh, my God. I Whatever. Whatever. We got it now. We got, we got our system down. We're going to crush it. It's just a bit of a funky fight with the rolls. If you don't dodge that first one, you're dead. That's what it seems like. If you don't dodge that first one and you're not like quick with potions, you're going to die. Oh, did not want to use art. That's not good. Cut. Whatever. What's it doing? What's it doing, like, charging up like that? I wonder I wonder if it's, like, hinting towards anything for us. Okay, there you go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Ow. <laughs> Ow. All right. Let's go. Start rolling. Start rolling, buddy. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Basically, I got to be up against the wall. Oh, okay. I got you. I got to be up against the wall here. Yeah, if I do that, it'll, like, bounce back, probably. I just got to, like, set that up properly at, at the very least. Come on, Shellmire. Let's go. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. Attack me. Bam. Okay. Dude, not cool. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Attack him. Attack him. Oh, we don't have a lot of time to do it, though. It kind of sucks. All right. Here, here, here. Start rolling. Start rolling, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Shalmar. Yeah. Woo. Damn, this thing is uh pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Attack, attack, attack. What are you doing, Palmerin? Stop. <laughs> you got to turn around, dude. All right. Here, here. Ready? We just got to get it to focus us real quick. Let's go. Bam. Oh, damn. It's, it wised up. I was too I was too far away from the wall, but somehow it hit the wall there. I don't even know what just happened. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. We can go ahead and take advantage of Igni real quick. Now that it's right in front of me. There you have it. You love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's stuck, and we're going to back up all the way to the wall and try to lure it over here. Let's go. Th this is our routine. Okay. Not cool. Not cool, dude. Stop. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Oh my god, it started rolling in, in the cover of the dust. That was that was genius. That was a genius move on, on the Shalmar's part. Okay, let's go. Bam. Here we go. Ooh, okay. We're doing great. We're doing great. Come on, attack me, buddy. Attack me. What you doing? What is it doing? Okay, it just hit the wall over there. Sure, dude. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Bam. Yeah, I did some damage at the very least. And it's on fire too. Poor thing. Oh, I feel bad now. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Come on, attack me, attack me. I dare you. Come on, I'm right here, I'm right here for you. Let's do it. Get over here. Don't attack him, attack me. Oh my god, dude, not cool. Two, and then it's gonna start rolling pretty soon, right? Yeah, on the third one, it starts rolling. Yeah, here we go. Okay, but it stopped. It stopped before it bounced back. Whatever, dude. All right, nice, nice. Oh yeah, great job, great job. Ooh, nicely done. Goddamn. All right. Oh, okay. What's it doing now? What the hell? Oh, oh, <laughs> that's cool. I like this one. I like this move. It's like a, it's like an earthquake, and this guy's just like taking all the hits with his shield. Damn, dude. Holy, yeah, you gotta stay far away from that. <laughs> dude, you're kidding me. That looks so cool. That looks so cool before that happened. <laughs> oh, poor Shalmar. Poor Shalmar. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on, dude. Nope. One, two, and then ready for the third. It's gonna, it's gonna start rolling towards us. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Who's this? Oh, that's the guy who got beaten the first time around. I see. Okay, let's go. Come on, start attacking me. Start attacking me. What you doing over there, huh? Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thunderbolt time. Let's go do some extra damage while we have the chance. Let's go. All right, and then. Oh no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd keep running into the wall like that. Nicely done. All right, let's light on fire. Let's light on fire to finish it off. Boom. Oh, it does not like fire. That is for sure. Here you have it. Now, we need to make sure that we spare the Shalmar. We cannot kill it. So that way we get our virtue of something. Whatever it is. 
whatever that virtue is. I don't know. That would be two out of five virtues that we currently have. Selma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia. Yes, indeed. Master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Damn. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. I shall spare the Shalmar. No way I'm killing it. Come on now. Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A yeah. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Geralt the Merciful. Where'd you look Fight at that? Me. See to the beast. Are they going to kill it? Or are they escorting it? Oh yeah, they're are, are they gonna kill it? Seems like they're escorting it. They're like trying to escort it out. What the hell? Guillaume. The latch came damned close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Oh. Wow, look at that. This is her posse, huh? Geralt. We must talk, Vivian. You shall talk later in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Thank you. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero, hop hop, for we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. Okay, okay, okay. We had been long awaiting your arrival, had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular. About the contract. A fight against Shalmar, arranging something like that for sport? Bad idea. About the contract. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Okay. There you have it. The Shalmar is defeated. And it is spared. I think that's the mercy virtue. I think that's what we unlocked. Or that's what we acquired or whatever. Tell us, uh, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Who? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Oh, okay. Yes. I mean, no. Uh, yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down <laughs> upon him. That's funny. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Oh my god. Chill out. The very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Oh, look at this guy. He's pretty cool. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Gonna need two things information and access to a laboratory. Yeah. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard oh, much damn. about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien? We settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past, definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that ah. which you find at home, yet did not expect? No, not always, yeah. Not always. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise. It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. 
On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard. There you go. Corvo Bianco. There you go. And the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title yeah, most to the definitely. Vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. <sighs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery is bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Beast's first victim. What do we know? How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crispy Things are was flickering. not What's loved up? by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast-goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. Whoa. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. That one camera angle is flickering, it's weird. Everything else seems to be fine, but it's just the one camera angle with him, like right at this point at his face, it's weird. Be second victim, tell me about him. Second murder, tell me what you know. In the city there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned... cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. The victims, both older knights? So, first it's not two a question. were knights, yeah. best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Uh, found a coin pouch on his body, contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Similarities between the victims seems to be more and more of them. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. 
Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? Oh. All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. Yeah. And even if knights the of Tusa swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, oh. valor, and compassion. Beast denouncing moral decay. Yeah, those five virtues are directly related to that side quest that is related to that achievement for the five virtues. That's that's interesting. That's funny that it's related, somewhat related, and joined into like Tucson and the like the 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 lore, not the lore, but like the culture of Tucson. You could say. Beast denouncing moral decay. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton but mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. <laughs> Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? No Milton way! Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Oh, Damien, our boy! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... Need to find Milton. Yeah, I need to find him. Your Grace, we need to find Milton. Immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare. Hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's smart. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. Hmm, I like her. I like her. Oh. Did she step in poop? Your grace. Oh. Oh. I, shall, I thought she stepped in poop, but that's pretty badass. She needs the mobility. She's not dealing with this dress right now. Yeah, look at that. What the hell? Why I should... Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Ooh, damn, and we're off. Hey! That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! <laughs> oh, damn, why are we getting focused on this guy's face? Is he important? Or did they just want to have that comedic moment? It was funny. It was funny. You got it. You got it, Duchess. I shall follow. Don't you worry. Your grace seems right at home in the saddle. Yeah, for real. Long live her highness. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Oh, okay, okay. Shall do, shall do. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool going through Beauclair on horseback like this. It's awesome. Anarieta. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, the scenery is... I just love it. I just love it. Oh, man. You get to enjoy all the blue. It's deep blue, too. It's so, so, so nice. It's so nice. It's so pleasant. All right. Don't go too far ahead. Roach is running out of stamina. Please chill. Please chill out. I need you to slow down. Oh my god, if Roach, if Roach runs out of stamina, do I get left behind? Oh, good. Alright, alright. We gotta locate him. Okay. A unicorn's horn? A golden fish and a phoenix egg? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
the essence, so we should have to break the rules. Interesting. So we have to fight three pieces to, to locate him? <laughs> this is really funny. On second thought, through here. Okay. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. But I nab the phoenix egg. Okay. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Captain. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Oh, okay. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Oh, it's a horse? It around over there. Look. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. The fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. Okay. All clear? Then let's get to it. Yes, indeed. All is clear. I'm going straight for the horse. I'm betting it's Axie. Now look for the unicorn in the clearing in the palace gardens. I bet you it just needs Axie real quick. Oh, I didn't realize there were stairs there. All right, let's go. Anna Henrietta. Anna Rietta. Okay. So, yeah, of course, unicorn seems like the, the logical first choice, especially if it doesn't run away. I'd hope it wouldn't. We just need to make it over to it. It's running around somewhere trying to be sneaky. I got to be able to use Axie, right? Let's go. Or not? What do we do here? Huh. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Oh, what the really hell? Do you wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try this again. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> Geralt! Oh my god. Come on, dude. Just use Axie! Oh, I have to find a treat? Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it how the game wants me to. Thank you, Nick. Fragrant cake. Rainbow. Quest items. Girl. Okay. Sweets, maybe. All right, so use it as a quest item. So just go to the fragrant cake. <laughs> Cold games not likely to tempt a unicorn. Why would you take the cookie to the, to the unicorn to gain his trust? Interesting. Let's go ahead and put that away for a sec. Hold on. How do I get rid of it? Right bumper? Is it right bumper or is it left bumper? How do I get rid of it? I don't want to have that right now. Let me put on the magic lamp. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Now let's make it over to the unicorn. Then we'll go towards it with the fragrant cake. Let's go. Don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. I have the fragrant cake for you. I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it, stop. Stop, please stop. Oh my God, dude, you're kidding me. Oh my God. All right, let's go, let's go, come on. Stop, I gotta I got slowly approach it. Hold on, all right, unicorn, unicorn buddy. Are you gonna stay there? I'm gonna slowly approach with this, ready? What are you doing, what are you doing? What? I have to find a treat, so I have to find a different treat. Oh my god. So it said the, the picnic basket wasn't going to work. I think that's what Geralt said. So I just got to keep looking. Got to find something here. Okay. What the hell is that? Peacock. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay, let's grab Roach likes basket carrots. of carrots. Yeah, yeah. Unicorn will too. Yeah, unicorn will definitely like carrots. Let's be honest. Okay, basket of carrots. Let's go. Got it for you. I've got it for you, buddy. Come here, unicorn. Unicorn. Come here. Say to a delicious crunchy carrot. Yeah, there you have it. Too bad the donut didn't work out. That would have been nice. Easy. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's one out of two. So now we gotta go grab the fish. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Well, I mean, at this rate, I'd be better off just running. I don't know. I figure it's quick enough that they were close by. Why would I be better on horseback? The gardens are indeed huge, but I don't think I'd be better on horseback. Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Yes, indeed. Let's get there. We'll jump in real quick. Let's go. 
Come on, dive in. And what do we got? Over here. Is that it right there? What is that? Is that really the golden fish? Just like dangling there? Oh, no. There's multiple. Interesting. Candy. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll collect some more candy. Toffee. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. This is a cool game. They have like fish sort of like strung up down below. So that way they don't float up. You got to like sort of fish them out. I dig it. I dig it. Come on. This is an easy one. If this is the gold one, it's so easy to reach. What are you talking about? No way. That's crazy. Oh. No way. That sucks. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. Are we going to have to pay this guy? You're kidding me. King Cormorant, sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. What the hell is this dude? What the As hell? As the moon is heavily coursed up trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> That's funny. Key from the golden fish. Okay, that's so interesting. That's so interesting. I get it. So that dude was part of the whole golden fish thing. You need to locate the golden fish and bring it to him as tribute. That's that's funny. Okay, meet the Duchess to assemble the clues and learn where Milton is hiding. All right, that's dope. That's awesome. We shall, we shall. Let's keep it going. Come on. At this point, it might be quicker to go on horseback, but I don't really know. I think we can probably get there just by walking or sprinting. Yeah, we'll get there soon enough. Oh, or should I ride Unicorn? What's up, Unicorn? Can I can I do anything? I can mount. Perfect. Great. All right. Take advantage of that for sure. Are you kidding me? Hello, Duchess. Where you at? Where you at? We have our items. Faster. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Duchess. Is she up top? How do I get up there? Right here? Good, good, good. Who the hell? Oh, what the hell? This guy's in an interesting position. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Anna Henrietta. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Damn. Geralt. At last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of heart cheese. Hollowed out with ease. In a cave in the palace pantry. Uh, in the, It's a greenhouse, someplace cramped. Got no idea where Milton's hiding. That's so funny. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. So I'm hollowed out with ease. Palace pantry. Then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Honestly, Palace Pantry sounds pretty good. Mice and cheese. Palace Pantry, maybe? No. The hare is obliged to hide oh. here in the gardens. Look, if we take grow, hollow it out and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. We get green. Then mouse. Oh. Starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. Pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. Wow. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse is there. Let's go. Oh, that's a quest completed. Beast of Tucson has been completed. Interesting. So what are we up to right now? Beauclair Palace. Oh. Well, I mean, that's the grounds that we're on, I suppose. The Beauclair, Beauclair Palace. Oh, is he dead? No, Milton. <laughs> you could... <gasps> no! No! Oh, that's tragic. Oh, he's been killed. Oh, damn. Oh, what the Holy. Fuck? God, this is so badass. What, Are you that? kidding me? Oh, my God. That is so cool, dude. <laughs> Holy. Oh, 
Oh my god. Yo. The animation is fantastic right there. Jesus. What's going on? We're gonna get in a fight? Oh god, no way. No way, I'm not prepared for this. Oh no. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? <laughs> it did. But you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people. At least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? None. Yeah, none. I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've put one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? No. I intend to live. <sighs> happily ever after. Oh god damn, here we go. Holy dude, yo. That's terrifying. That's a terrifying face. The beast of Beauclair. Let's go. Kill again. Yeah, damn right. Oh, Blood Run is the name of the freaking quest. That is so badass. My god. Alright, anyways. Let's kill him. Let's take him out. The beast of Beauclair. Come on, dude. This guy's easy so far. What the hell? This is way easier than than the freaking Bruxa so far. God damn. <laughs> like the Bruxa was much, much harder than this. Although he does hit hard, so let's let's not, you know, count him out yet. God damn. Alright, here we go. And Dragon Stream and Superior Dancing Star. Come on, let me Oh no! No, he got away too soon. Damn it. Come on. I think I think uh are vampires vulnerable to fire? I hope they are. So I'm definitely gonna use Igni once I get the chance. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are vulnerable to fire, like a lot of enemy types. So it's a good chance to use Igni, especially if you have Igni Stream. Oh, you can do some real damage there. All right, let's go. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Stop. All right, let's go. Come on. Hell, yeah. Okay, fire does work, but maintaining that fire stream is kind of hard. Oh, boy. I got really lucky with my potion use there. Jesus. Okay, let's go. Let's go, dude. Come on. Bam. Here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Hit me. Hit me, buddy. Taken down. All right, we got this. We got this. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Oh man, I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. Chill out. Chill out. Yeah, this guy. This guy's pretty. Like, honestly, overall easy. Like, can I even parry the attacks? I can. I can block them. So it's like, it's not that bad compared to the Bruxa. I'm having, I'm having a much easier time. I can even parry potentially or like counter. I should say. No, I can't. I can't. But I. Oh, is he healing? No, no. Stop that. Stop that. Don't heal. Don't heal. Stop that, dude. What the hell? Why are you healing? But yeah, it, like I'm not, I'm not as pressed as I was with the uh, Bruxa. <laughs> okay, all right, stop that. Stop, stop staying alive. Okay, can you just die? Yeah, let's throw a dancing star at him. Oh, that did something, huh? That definitely did something, huh? Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, I'm gonna go ahead and use. No, I'm not using Thunderbolt. I wanted to use Thunderbolt right there, but I am out. Oh, <laughs> oh goddamn, I got real lucky there. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, come on, you stupid beast of Beauclair. Where am? Oh no 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 Okay, all right, all right. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Ah, yo. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're not messing around anymore. We're not messing around anymore. Okay. I'm about to use a freaking cat to make sure I can at least heal during this fight. My God. All right, let's go. Bam. And come on, dude. Bam. Bam. Come on, I gotta hit somebody. I gotta hit something at some point. Ooh. Okay. All right, all right. No stress, no stress. Just keep going. Yeah, he's gonna teleport to me. We got this. Let's go. Bam. Here we go. We dodge and we attack. Oh yeah. And we attack. Oh my god. All right, all right. We're fine. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. Okay. Here we go. Stop. 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 Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. All right. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I can. Oh yeah, I can definitely parry him. That's awesome. All right, let's go. Come on. Woo. All right, here we go. Bam. Let's go. Bam. Ow! Stop! Stop! Okay, chill, chill, chill. Chill the hell out. Bam, let's go. And let's go. Come on, hit me, hit me. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no! I do Okay, that was that was that was scripted. It was a scripted death. Jesus. Whew, that was close. God damn. <laughs> I thought I died. Ah. 
<laughs> that was rough. That got rough. Definitely got rough. The Bruxa was more stressful, though. At the end, this was more stressful. <laughs> oh, goddamn. You are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No. He's my friend. Whoa. God damn. Look at that. Geralt looking right through the hole, too. Oh, that's awesome. Damn, dude. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... We... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear. Having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Alright, I have no clue who this guy is, but... Uh... Pretty cool, pretty cool entrance. Let's be honest, that was pretty damn awesome. His name's Regis, turns out. So, yeah, it's awesome. Killarm Hunting, seems you know him. What brings you back after all these years? Killarm Hunting, seems you know him. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. What good reasons could he possibly have? How can you be so sure? Don't give a damn about his motivations. How can you be so sure? Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am. Because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Why did Detlaf kill the monster? Why tell me this? Any reason? Why'd he kill the monster? Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. 
his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Gotta find him. Yeah, I gotta find him. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then. Just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? Yeah. The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of info we just got. Goddamn. That's pretty cool. He noticed. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Damn right. I liked him a lot. Honestly. There you have it. Ah, damn. Blood run has been completed. That was a tough one. That was a real tough fight. Okay. All right. And that is where we shall end this video. That was a, that was a pretty intense one. We got to a lot of stuff in this video, which I'm pretty happy about. We took care of a lot of different things. And we shall continue on being productive and taking care of things. Unlocking all of the achievements in the rest of the videos for the series. So I do hope you're looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one.